Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I would like to share how to use my Visual Studio template to blend uh, Google Search Console and Google Analytics for data by landed pages and keywords. And uh, this is one of the most popular uh, template among my customers because it helps to calculate the potential of your existing content in terms of additional traffic, additional conversions and revenue you can get from the Google Search. And um, so report answer one specific question, yeah? How many additional clicks, uh, conversions, and revenue specific landing page can get if it will be ranked on the uh, number one position in Google search? By all keywords, it already have has impressions in Google search, yeah? And the conversion rate of this landing page and average revenue will be the same, yeah? So we use historical data here to use this template. You already have uh, should have the uh, implemented conversion or e-commerce tracking, and you already should have some data about them for at least four months. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And let's dive in how it works and how to use it properly. So uh, here's the structure of data blending. Uh, we use the landing page dimension uh, as a join key. Important that uh, by default, uh, Google Analytics 4 property does not have the same landing page address as Search Console. So we should create the custom concat custom field uh, where we, using a few parameters, create the dimension the same as uh, as it exists in Search Console. Yeah. Uh, take attention that pay attention that. If you have HTTP website, the let the uh, letter S, and if you have the website uh, without slash at the end of URL, you also should delete uh, these signs. Yeah. Then our table have a join key land page. Yeah, the same in Search Console and PR. and uh, then we have three three types uh, of metrics let me show so we have the, at first the metrics from search console impressions clicks and ctr then we have uh, metrics from google analytics for new users average session durations bound rate bounce rate conversions user conversion rate and so on. and we have the third part it's custom metrics i calculate best uh, based on uh, this one, yeah, based on native metrics from the properties. Lost clicks, lost conversions, and lost revenue. Uh, if you have the correctly implemented e-commerce track and you can use the e-commerce view, uh, there you will see the e-commerce uh, related metrics like uh, transactions, uh, lost uh, revenue, and so on. So, and how I calculate the these custom fields. So, lost clicks we calculate uh, just assuming that our uh, CTR by all keywords, if we will rank number one by all of them, will be around 20%. Uh, and we then minus all your URL clicks we already have, just to understand which additional clicks we can get. Then uh, we, in lost conversions metrics, we just multiply the uh, forecasted uh, clicks into existing user conversion rate. This already the metric from Google Analytics 4. And then we uh, lost, uh, trans uh, lost uh, conversions multiply on the event value, yeah. Uh, so, and what does it mean that, mm, on my example, yeah. So for my website, I have now 50 lost conversions. It means that if uh, these four landed pages that already have conversions, if they will rank on the number one position for all keywords that uh, they rank for, I will get additionally 50 uh, uh, transactions per month from my website. Yeah, And here I can, I already sorted them by the most valuable landed pages. 
how to use the, the data. You also can uh, sort your keywords by these metrics. So how to do that? Mm. You should sort uh, landing pages by these parameters, and then these are already the list of priorities for you. Now you understand to which landing page you should you should build more backlinks. Maybe update the content. Maybe build more internal backlinks. Uh, try to uh, like social media ads and so on and so on. Uh, it help you to understand your priorities based on real uh, historical data. Yeah, yeah. There, there may be some noise in the data if you have many different uh, traffic channels and they have different conversion rate. Uh, however, is this already something you can rely on? Yeah. Uh, so how to use a template? There are uh, two options. The first one you just can get the template and, and just use already existing connectors. By default, you will see the properties here that you have access on your Gmail account. Uh, this is the first step. The other option, you can just uh, copy the URL, open it uh, under your Gmail account, and then click the Make a Copy. When you click the Make a Copy, you will see this uh, screenshot unknown. Uh, I, I have the screenshot on my text guide about how to use it. Uh, the screenshot, let me uh, find it, mm, that uh, tr that explains the structure of their data sets. So and the first connector should be the Google Search Console URL impression. Let me show you. Search Console, choose the property, URL impression, web. Click Connect. Then when you when you see to add this, you uh, it's important to add the name of the property. Yeah. So let's say uh, because if you won't add it, it will be difficult to understand it uh, to understand which one you use. And the second connector should be the Google Analytics for properties, a new property, not Universal Analytics. Then click Connect. The same here. And you click copy, uh, the report. So that's all. After that, you will be able to the, the, the report copied. And after that, you will be able to uh, work with it, edit, add new charts, delete something, and so on. So you can brand it with your uh, logo, and so on, and so on. So that's it. If you have any questions, write them in the comment section on this YouTube video, and I will be glad to answer them. Have a nice day.